In December 2022, I went to Taiwan with my family, but before my parents joined in, me and my brother had three days to spend by ourselves. So this is what we did for three days in Taipei. Wow, when I first step out, right, my first reaction is, it's colder than I expected. The air is damn cold. What the heck? It's really like Ireland, yeah. I didn't expect it I, for some reason. I think because it's like an Asia country, so I thought it would be. Uh, slightly warmer but it's cold it's cold now i don't regret bringing all my long sleeve and buying this jacket <laughs> so we just we just got a sim card and we got our easy card with a pokemon design so that's cute so now we're on the way to meet our our climbing guide we paid for our guide to pick us up from the airport to the climbing location long Dong, as we didn't want to raise the extra time that could be used to climb at Rifang, we got coffee at Louisa Coffee and ate at Yonghe Douqiang as recommended by our guide. Then, we picked up our rental equipment at the bivvy and went on to the approach to the walls. Nice approach, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, my brother looks so good in that. Such zen climbing from him. And then you have me, who is literally outdoor climbing for literally the first time and learning how to tie in the harness on the spot, yeah? I'm going back in. Then, where does it go? Safe one this. Okay, yeah. What do you think? We're following this one. Just below. Mm -hmm. Below mm -hmm. and like that. Yeah. 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 See, double eight. Yeah. Yep. We call it dancing. Okay, retrace. Retrace. Yeah. The mantra for this is um, the knot has to be dressed and stressed. Dressed meaning that like no crisscrossing is neat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, step up, yeah. Uh, you can see a lot of ledges, uh, yeah. Yeah, the ledges, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, nice, nice, yeah, come on, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice, yes, yes, good, 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 yeah, nice mento. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. 
Yeah, you can push off the left wall. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push and pull. Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, come on, nice, nice, nice. Very good, very good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh, really, really, what? What's that? Talking to us. Okay. My sister is climbing this um, easy ish slab route. I'm doing well. Yes, yes, good. <laughs> she went crazy, but I've never seen someone climb it After climbing on this slabby ish wall, we moved on to the other side and climbed on this red wall. Don't have much videos of the climb, but it was very mentally. And here is Chong Chong casually photobombing me while I lose my balance. Before we knew it, the sun was setting and it was time to wrap up. It was a super great first outdoors experience thanks to our trusty guide Kelly. My main takeaways were natural rock is damn pain, the pool makes it even more pain. And it was so hard to find any holes at all. And it was also damn hard to trust my feet. And finally, it was so damn fun and I can't wait for my next outdoor session. With the cold weather, we were craving for hot pot, so we ended up at this place called Chuan Ting Shabu Shabu, which offered relatively cheap individual hot pot sets. So we just finished our dinner at Chuan Ting Shabu Shabu. Just let it go. Huh? Let it go. Uh, cross the road, right? Eh? Yeah. Eh, we didn't cross the road just now. Hold on, boss. Okay, we have found our way. Resume review. Okay, so before this, right, we wanted to go to uh some uh, buffet hot pot place Xiang La and Sing something la. but basically we went to both right and both said that they were full and we had to wait until possibly about 11 or 12 to get a seat unless somebody cancels so we're like okay no way we're waiting because they're so hungry after climbing ma. so then we settled for this Chuan Ting Shabu Shabu that I found on Google Maps randomly yeah then I wow actually lucky we never <laughs> we never get a seat at the two buffets yeah, because oh, I tell you what, we two people ate three pounds of meat we have already eaten meat, meat can't be Okay, let's, let's name our top dishes Luya <laughs> Luya <laughs> yeah. So it's our first time trying the Luya eh? Luya Xue yeah. I'm not a fan At first he said he's a fan, but... Yeah, but it was like, after a while, it's like, man... I think the fact that they cook it in the mala flavor is... Like, it covers the, the texture, the, the weird texture of it. Okay, so my top dishes, right, is the... Mei Hua Zhu and the... Uh, Xue Hua Yang. Yes, yeah. That was good. And then, uh... The tofu was so good, too! Yeah. So silky, it's so And then, uh, what else? Uh? I think that's all. Oh, oh yeah! And the fan chie, only even though we were only given one piece, right? But I think that single piece of fan chie is the sweetest fan chie ever eaten in my life. Yeah, and the tang ti is like meh, leh, like. To me, it's quite diluted. Lah. Huh? Like, it's like the tang ti. Yeah. Any, any other comments? Very cool. Okay, we're off to our. Ah, let's cross. Now we are off to our accommodations. 
bye bye good morning taiwan come on 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 Okay, let's go, let's go. Wow, Taikeho and Zao Sang. We started off day two with breakfast at Ting Lu Zao Chan, and the sandwiches were so memorable. The fillings in the sandwich are unlike anything that you could find in Singapore, and the hashong was so good too. We also went to another place along the same stretch called Heavy Toast, but that wasn't as memorable. Like, I can't even remember what we ate. Oops. After which, we took a bus to Chiu for our main agenda of the day a hike up Teapot Mountain, Cha Wu Shan. Going to conquer V V what ah? No what V this is lucky. Oh slap slap slap. Okay, he's going to the teapot. <laughs> She's on my hand shoe ring. Yeah, it's the end of the video. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so, so there's an opening there. And there's one way up there, but I think we just go down, not here. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, exit. Yeah, exited the cave. Okay, I'll just go. Yeah, nice. I love boulder. Oh. Boulder. It's probably another gold mine or something. Also, you're supposed to climb another way. Have reached the Chahu, but um, I think it's a Chahu, right? I think it's a Chahu, but um, yeah, the whole thing is a Chahu, but we weren't sure if we should have came from this exit because it was a bit sketchy. But I think now, right, seeing this, right, it turns out that this leads to another trail which goes up to the mountain over here. But then right now it's 4 plus so we don't have time because we started the trail quite late So yeah, but this is a bit sketchy lah but yeah, okay. <laughs> It's a little, it looks a little sketchy but actually it's actually quite comfortable to To, to hike slash climb in Sick views though, sick views Wow ah, I'll be back eh, I'll be back, Taiwan, wow so we were wondering where is Samuel and then suddenly see him here and then we were like how do you get there and he's like how do you get there okay okay
We took half the afternoon to hike up and down Teapot Mountain. The hike itself was 80% stairs, 10% rocky terrain and 10% scrambling if you choose to go for it. Relatively easy hike with some lower limb endurance needed. We wanted to stay for the sunset views so as we descended, the sky became pitch black. To wrap up the day and to fill our stomachs, we went to Raohe Night Market. So we ate quite a fair bit and along the way we came across this bingo style game with mahjong tiles. What thought to be a short pit stop turned out to be probably like half an hour as we got sucked into the game. And we actually won. Oh my god, I love my Snorlax. And today was also the day that I learned Patrick from SpongeBob is actually called Patrick Star. I was like, why got one star behind the Patrick one? Mm, yeah. So actually, before going to Rao He Night Market, we actually went to Jiu Fen Lao Jie to walk walk and eat a bit. But it wasn't very happening, which is why we made our way to Rao He in the end. Okay, so we got cuttlefish, la chang, xiang chang I mean. Same hot there, baby. Boo! Ah, ah, ah. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, sorry, I uh, see us all. Mm, mm, but we never say anything else about the taste. So you ask me now, I don't know. I forget how it tastes really. Yeah. Mm. We have some a bowl of taro and actually many. Uh, it's not just taro balls, a lot of different kinds of balls. It's like uh, in green bean soup. It's really soft, it's unlike the ones in like Singapore. Mm. It's not even chewy, it's just soft. It's really really soft. But we did have a nice tea session at a tea house with a nice unobstructed view of the mountain. This is a toast for competing tea for mountain. So guys, yeah. But I would think it's better to come during sunset lah. Maybe you got nicer views. If not, all you see is darkness like this. Yeah, so right now we are in this like insanely fast bus right? Day 2 turned out to be more tiring than expected, probably combined with the fatigue from climbing on the first day. So we ditched the initial plan of doing a hike in Yang Wing Shan so we could get more sleep. Though we only had until mid-afternoon, so my brother and I decided to visit a bouldering gym instead. Though, not before we had a last meal with Sam and Brina before they headed on their own journey. So right now, uh, we are at the MRT here, the Megastorm Climbing Gym. But uh, my brother saw on the map that there's this coffee shop called May I Coffee You. So we are heading there. Apparently it's behind this hospital, so let's go. Um, Hand coffee, which is like the darkest rose that they have. Because I'm 
not a fan of sour coffee. So. Yeah, it's a long list of. Yeah, you get it. Cheers. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's like very fruity. It's fruity, I think. Use the spoon, I think. Yep, so that was our last destination before taking a train to the airport to pick up our parents. So I'm here at the airport and I bought um, Yu Tou QQ Niu Nai. So it's yam with fresh milk and uh, the mini balls, mini taro balls and wow it's so good, it hits different like the yam right even though Singapore has the same thing but then here the yam is so much more like palatable and it's like it balances so well with the fresh milk I love it it was like $70 worth King